We're going to look at creating a user form inside of Excel. So the purpose here is to have a better interface for our programs. Sure, um, we can use input boxes for input, have our program write into the spreadsheet for output, but sometimes we want something a little more elegant. And VBA gives us a way to create a custom form to perform these, to make a really nice user interface. Now this, pre this presentation is about the Windows version, and there's a separate one about the Mac version. So uh, what I'm going to do is just do everything over here in Windows. So here I have a new blank spreadsheet open in Excel, and I'm in the Developer tab. And what I'm going to do is go over to Visual Basic. And first I'm going to show the code for this workbook. And so I double click there. I'm going to write option, whoops, push the wrong button there, that's my pinky, option explicit, and then um, I'm going to leave that for now, and I'm going to insert a user form. So over here, up at the top, there's a button for doing that, I'll just click it, and here's my user form with a little palette of controls that I can add to it. Now this is a pretty dinky form, so I'm going to make it a little bigger. Um, if I can grab the corner here, there we go. I can just drag it to make it bigger. And let's notice that it's got a caption here. And over here are the properties. So the name is user form 1. That's also the caption. Now the first thing I want to do is change the name. So, when I'm naming a user form, I like to use FRM as the prefix for the name. So I'll call it form um, user form example. And for the caption, I'll make it say something like, hello. Okay. So, now, there's other properties I could also play with. One fun one is the color. So this will be the background color. I can get there by clicking here. And here I have the basic system colors. These are the ones, what depending on the color scheme you've chosen, the Windows uses as a default for all the windows that you're working with, including the ones that your program is making. Well, we want something a little more lively, let us say. So let's go over here, and I'll choose, like, yellow. Okay, so let's save this so far. And I'm going to save it as um, user form example. And I'm going to save it as a macro-enabled workbook. And I'll put it on my desktop. Okay. Now here's the thing. If I open my spreadsheet, I have no way to show this user form. I want the user form to show up, obviously. Uh, so how do I make it do that? Well, there's a piece of code I can write to do that, but it has to be in a macro or activated by a button or something to make the user form show up. So let's put it in the, this workbook file. And what we're going to do here is uh, use a special macro that executes when the event happens of opening the workbook. So we write sub workbook open. And this is predefined, uh, so Excel knows to look for it and use it if it exists when the workbook, op workbook opens. And to actually make the form show up, I put form Oh gosh, why did I name it? Well, that's t oh here it is, user form example. It's right there. So, user form example dot show. So show is a uh, method of the user form that makes it show up. All right, uh, let's try this. So what I'm going to do is save and exit from Excel. So first do this, and then close. All right, and then it should be on my desktop here. 
if things went the way they should have. Yes, there it is. So let's open it up. Now, I just wrote that macro to make the form show up. Let's see if it does. Well, first we have to enable the content. Yes, here's our user form. Now, of course, it doesn't do anything yet. It's just showing up. But I want you to notice something. I can't do anything else in my workbook as long as this form is open. So if I want to do anything, I have to close it. And let's go to the Developer tab and over to Visual Basic. And now notice that here is the code that belongs to this workbook. If I click here, I can see the user form. If I want to see the code for the user form, there isn't any right now. Um, but eventually, there will be. And what I'll do is right-click and do View Code in order to see it. You can see here I just get an empty window. But the point is, the code for this workbook is in one place, which we look at here. The code that belongs to the user form is separate. And right now there's none of it, but here it is. And you can see nothing. Okay. So um, in another one, I'll show you I'll start showing you how to put controls on. Notice that whenever I have the user form selected, this little toolbox shows up. And when I click somewhere else, it's likely to disappear. But I can make it come back very easily. Okay. Um, so that's it for this one.